that's going to hibernation, their body's shut down. They're going months at a time on very little energy. They have really no immune response to anything. So this fungus sort of attacks them and these bats come in, they're a great mass of living tissue and cells and it's a perfect food source. It's likely to shape out to be the worst wildlife disaster of our lifetimes. This is an artificial cave, and very simply, it's designed as a mitigation project for bats to protect them from a disease called white nose syndrome. This property that we're on is now owned by the state of Tennessee, and they've been a great partner with us. We've worked pretty closely with the Fish and Wildlife Service. Bats need something to hold on to. We're in this poured concrete structure that has relatively smooth walls. We have some, some bats that are crevice dwelling bats and we've installed these panels to give them small crevices to get under. We have different grades of mesh on the walls. We have our course, this is this sort of chicken wire sized plastic mesh. We have some fine screening in the back. We're just gonna see which, which the bats prefer. These cold, damp caves, this fungus just flourishes. So we've tried to keep everything synthetic. There's no absorbent qualities to them. When we come in to decontaminate the cave, they should clean up pretty easily and won't harbor any of the fungus. We're right next to a large gray bat cave. The wintertime has about 160,000 gray bats that hibernate in it. They tend to arrive around mid-October and they arrive in large numbers and they breed and swarm around the cave entrances. Our plan is to broadcast calls of sort of the same typical the fall swarming of these bat species from this entrance and we're hopeful it'll, it'll attract them in. We started out talking about it very quietly because it's kind of a wacky idea. It's never been done before. Um, but the more people we talked about, sort of the world's experts, the more it seemed the best potential strategy to combat white nose syndrome. And everybody seems to love the idea. Bats have an incredible parental care. Females have their young in the spring after they come out of hibernation. And they'll be with them for up to three months. They're a critical part of our natural world and we all depend on bats. Bats are the only major predator of night flying insects. We've done a tremendous amount of research. Everyone we've consulted thinks that it at least has potential for success. Being able to claim success I think is several years out.